A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, the home of Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. There they gave a dinner for him. Martha served, and Lazarus was one of those at the table with him. Mary took a pound of costly perfume made of pure nard, anointed Jesus' feet, and wiped them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. But Judas Iscariot, one of his disciples, the one who was about to betray him, said, Why was this perfume not sold for 300 denarii and the money given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. He kept the common purse and used to steal what was put into it. Jesus said, Leave her alone. She bought it so that she might keep it for the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. The Gospel of the Lord. We just heard this passage read and preached on in church the Sunday before last. We have it again today as we move closer to our commemoration of Jesus' death later this week on Good Friday. Today I want to focus on a different point from the text. The anointing of Jesus' feet with very, very expensive perfume. A denarii was a day's wages, so this perfume cost almost the average worker's yearly salary. This extravagant use of perfume is an extravagant expression of love. And in the Gospel of John, it serves to foreshadow an even more extravagant act of love, the death of Jesus. God's extravagant love for the world pours out from the pierced side of the crucified Jesus. This blood and water are sweeter than the nard and even more costly. <laughs> 